Peace. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Omar Effendum. I am a Syrian American hip hop artist. I was born in Saudi Arabia, raised in Washington, D.C. I'm currently living in Los Angeles, and we are in the beautiful city of Philadelphia. I first started experimenting with hip-hop music um, pretty much when I got into college. Uh, I went to the University of Virginia and that's where I first started uh, making beats and writing rhymes and performing, you know, local open mics and stuff like that. Uh, I grew up listening to hip-hop music um, and so it was always kind of something that I enjoyed, um, but I never actually participated myself, like I said, until I got into college. You know, that said, growing up, as I was listening to the hip-hop music, um, you know, that I heard on TV and in the radio, and, you know, CDs and tapes and stuff, I was also studying um, the Arabic language at school, uh, and anybody who studies Arabic knows that, you know, you inevitably end up studying Arabic poetry when you study Arabic, because it's essentially the backbone of the language, so... I started to make connections early on between um, the poetry that I was studying in school and reading, you know, after class, and the music that I was listening to. Um, I felt that there were a lot of connections just in terms of, you know, the ancient oral traditions of, of the Middle East and Africa and, um, you know, hip-hop and hip-hop culture. And so all of that kind of came together when I started writing rhymes and, you know, led to the Omar Fenum that you see today. In terms of any struggles or setbacks I experienced along the way, um, you know, there have been instances where people have uh, you know, name called or said mean things or, or even protested because they may not have, you know, appreciated the fact that I had the stance that I had on Palestine or that I have on Palestine. Um, but, you know, overwhelming, the overwhelming majority of people who come to my shows seem to enjoy them. Uh, and more often than not, I get, you know, uh, really great responses from the crowds and from people online and stuff like that. And so it's really been encouraging. Um, I mean, the one thing I'd say is that early on, and I'm talking really early on, um, I, I guess I had notions of, you know, being signed or becoming a platinum rapper or something like that. But, but you know, after a couple of years of doing it and, and realizing where not just I was as a person and what I wanted out of life, but, um, you know, the state of the music industry in general, I realized that that just was no longer, you know, necessary to kind of survive uh, and, and, and really kind of uh, build a career off of. So some of my biggest lyrical inspirations, I'd say, um, were authors like Edward Said, um, you know, poets like Khalid Gibran, Nizar Qabbani, um, who are, you know, really important figures in, in, in Middle Eastern history, especially in terms of, you know, modern Middle Eastern literature and thought. And, and, um, at the same time, you know, musically, uh, I kind of listened to everything growing up, you know, reggae music, soul music, uh, Arabic music, and so, um, you know, influences musically vary from men like Abdel Halim Hafez and Mohammed Abdul Wahab all the way to, you know, Nina Simone and, uh, you know, reggae music. I listened to a lot of reggae music growing up, especially, you know, reggae music with kind of a conscious uh, message and element to it really inspired me. Men like Dennis Brown and, you know, Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, etc. Uh, and in terms of hip-hop artists, I mean, I kind of grew up in that, that golden era, early 90s hip-hop, so, you know, De La Soul, Tribe Called Quest, Nas, you know, even Biggie and Tupac and all of them were all coming up at the same time, you know, and, and Wu-Tang, and so I got exposed to a lot of that type of music early on, uh, not to mention, you know, those who had laid the foundation in terms of kind of politically conscious hip-hop music like Rakim and, uh, uh, you know, Public Enemy, etc. So. It really kind of uh, is, is, is a mixed bag, uh, things that inspire me, and I try to bring all of that uh, to my music and to my lyrics whenever I write something or I perform. I can't say I have any one particular message when it comes to the music and lyrics that I write, but generally speaking, I would hope that people can kind of get a sense of um, you know, the bridge building that I like to do, community bridge building and cultural gap bridging. Um, you know, for me personally, growing up as a young Arab and Muslim in the United States, I've always felt that like, you know, these, these two sides of my identity were at odds, especially in terms of the way the media portrayed them. So what I do through my music is, is kind of combat that perceived uh, conflict, um, literally, in terms of 
you know, translating poetry from the Middle East into English and, and, and uh, poetry from the United States, like Langston Hughes' poetry into Arabic, but then also, not so literally, just in terms of uh, the things I choose to, to write and not to write about, you know. Um, for a long time, I felt like artists uh, and, 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 and young Arabs here in the West, we've kind of been taught to tell people what we're not, you know. We are not terrorists, we're not extremists, but for me, a lot of it was about uh, really telling people what we are, you know, and getting to the heart of why I feel so proud to be an Arab or a Muslim, you know, growing up uh, here in the West and what aspects of my culture that, you know, I love and I want people in American society to kind of understand and, and be aware of. And, um, you know, that all kind of makes its way into my music. A particular place in Damascus, in the old city, a particular street in the old city. Can anybody tell me perhaps what street I'm talking about? Hey! The street called Straight. The street called... Hey! If I had to pick a, a favorite song, um, I'd be honest and say that's very difficult for me because I have a hard time picking favorites, but um, The Street Called Straight really means a lot to me just because that was a story inspired by a very real place you know, to me, one of the most ancient kind of urban spaces in the world. Uh, and given that hip-hop is an urban culture and more specifically a street culture, to be able to talk about one of the oldest, longest lasting, you know, urban experiences in the world was very powerful for me, you know, and to be able to kind of represent that lyrically. Although a lot of it was uh, very much fiction, you know, it was kind of loosely based on conversations that I've had with people in, in Syria, more specifically in Damascus, in the old city, uh, and, and kind of trying to really sum up a lot of the, you know, most pertinent ideas that I found with respect to like the ancient philosophies that exist in, um, you know, in the region uh, and something that everybody can kind of relate to, which is really basically, you know, following the middle path, something that's like, I think, so central to, to many religions around the world, you know, um, rejecting any notions of extremism and really focusing on tolerance and on, uh, you know, and trying to, to find a middle ground uh, wherever you're at in life, you know, um, and not, not pushing too far in one direction uh, or the other direction. And it's something really important for, for a person like me who's, who's straddled two worlds growing up and to really find that type of, uh, you know, to find that type of philosophy appealing was just a natural thing for someone like me. Um, and so it, it is very much a metaphor, you know. Hadina uh, Sirat al Mustaqim is a very short verse from uh, one of the first chapters of the Quran, which basically means, you know, lead us to the straight path. Um, and this particular street in Damascus is the street called Straight, uh, and so it was kind of a play on that as well. Um, yeah, and so at the end of the day, I actually don't perform that song musically that often. I usually perform it a cappella, uh, just as a poem whenever I'm performing it, performing it, because I really like people to focus on, on the lyrics and to hear the story, and I think it might get lost in, uh, you know, in the loudness of that particular beat. Um, that said, I'll be releasing a video for it soon, so hopefully by the time they're editing this, they can kind of cut the video in and you can see uh, the, the song come to life, so to speak. But yeah, Street Call Straight. In closing, I guess I'd just say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me uh, over the past few years. Uh, you know, it's been a long road to get to where I'm at now, and I'm really looking forward to the next phase, the next chapter. Um, keep logging on, facebook.com slash offendum, twitter.com slash offendum, all the social media sites. I try my best to respond to everybody. Uh, and be on the lookout for new music. Uh, I'm working on a new album with Sammy Mutlar, the, the very talented brother who put together the, uh, the January 25th uh, instrumental. And um, I'm touring, so I might be coming to a city near you. Make sure to check out uh, all the tour dates online as well. Peace. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Omar Fendel.